Hi, boys and girls. So today we are going to read a story called We Don't Eat Our Classmates by Ryan T. Higgins. It is about a T-Rex named Penelope Rex, and it's her first day of school, and she's really, really nervous. And so it's a very funny, cute story about how she learns to make friends obviously by not eating them. It's a very silly story. And then afterwards, we are going to go on Pebble Go, and I'm going to read you a very short um, 4D book about T-Rexes. Very exciting. All right, so here we go. We Don't Eat Our Classmates by Ryan T. Higgins. Hey, kids. You will never be eaten by a T-Rex. They are extinct, I promise. Penelope Rex was nervous. It's not every day a little T-Rex starts school. What are my classmates going to be like? Will they be nice? How many teeth will they have? This was very important. Penelope's mom bought her a new backpack with ponies on it. Ponies were Penelope's favorite because ponies are delicious. Penelope's dad packed her lunch of 300 tuna sandwiches and one apple juice. She must eat a lot. Finally, the big day came and Penelope Rex was very surprised to find out that all of her classmates were children. Oh my goodness, this is her classroom. Here is her cubby and these are her classmates and this is her teacher. So she ate them because children are delicious. Penelope Rex, said Mrs. Noodleman, we don't eat our classmates. Please spit them out at once. So she did. <laughs> it was not the best way to start school. Still, Penelope was determined to have a good first day. Do her friends look happy that they were eaten and then spat out? Mm, I don't think they do. They look a little upset with Penelope. She tried hard to make friends at recess. That's not going to work going down the slide. <laughs> she finger painted some of her best work. And that is a picture of her eating a child. Hmm. She even said Griffin Emery a seat at lunch. You can sit here. I think Griffin might think she's going to eat her again. <laughs> Penelope started to notice everyone was making friends but her. It was lonely. Poor Penelope. When she got home, her dad asked about her first day of school. I didn't make any friends, Penelope cried. None of the children wanted to play with me. Penelope Rex, her father asked, did you eat your classmates? Well, maybe, sort of, just a little bit. Sometimes it's hard to make friends, said her dad especially if you eat them. You see, Penelope, children are just the same as us on the inside, just tastier. <laughs> that gave Penelope a lot to think about. The next day, Penelope tried really hard. But poor Penelope, she could not stop herself from eating her classmates. Mrs. Noodleman, Penelope ate William Omoto again. And they were all afraid of her.
except Walter. Walter was a goldfish. So Penelope tried to make friends with him. Will you be my friend? Chomp. Eee! cried Penelope. He's eating my finger. Once Penelope found out what it was like to be someone's snack, she lost her appetite for children. She stopped eating her classmates, even when Cece Woodman spilled barbecue sauce all over herself. And soon Penelope made friends. Found you. Want a brownie? I helped make them. Now, even when children look especially delicious, she peeks at Walter and remembers what it's like when someone tries to eat you. And Walter, the goldfish, stares right back at her and licks her his lips. Wow, she is terrified. Because dinosaurs are delicious. All right, boys and girls, I hope you like that cute story. Um, just remember, never eat your classmates. So now we are gonna go to Pebble Go and I'm gonna show you how to get to Pebble Go again and look at those awesome eBooks that are now on there. So I'm gonna switch tabs. This is the school's homepage. And if you remember, we go one, two, three, four, departments, and then click on library webpage. Pebble Go is our first link. So we're going to click on Pebble Go. And today we are actually going to look up dinosaurs. So over here, we can go to animals. And from animals, we're gonna scroll down to where we see the picture of dinosaurs. Dinosaurs. And now we are going to go to the Tyrannosaurus Rex one. So we're gonna mouse over. Tyrannosaurus it. Rex. And we're gonna click on that. Now, if you remember, you click on the sound and it will read this all to you. And make sure if you wanna do this later, go through and listen to every tab because there's different information on each one. And then on this purple tab where it says read more, there are some eBooks on there. And the book that we're gonna read is called Tyrannosaurus Rex, a 4D book. So the pictures are pretty scary. It's awesome. All right, so here we go. Play book, this takes just a second to load. Here we go, Tyrannosaurus Rex by Tammy Gagney. And it also it's published by Pebble Go. And if you want them to read it to you, you just click this yellow play button, but I'm gonna go through and read it to you. Tyrannosaurus Rex, so here's our table of contents. This is a nonfiction book, so it has a table of contents and it's filled with facts about T-Rexes. Meet the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Tyrannosaurus Rex was a dinosaur that ate meat. It hunted many other dinosaur species. Adult Tyrannosaurus Rex stood up to 20 feet tall. It weighed about nine tons. That's very big. Tyrannosaurus rex had a large head and tail. Its strong back legs helped it run up to 25 miles per hour, but its short front legs could not reach its mouth. Bone crushers. Tyrannosaurus rex was a carnivore. It hunted other dinosaurs it could eat 500 pounds of meat in one bite. And boys and girls, whenever you see a word in bold, 
it means that it's going to be on, it's going to be in the glossary in the back of the book. So if you don't know what a carnivore is, you can flip to the back of the book, which we can do that right now really quick. If you flip to the back of the book, it gives you a listing of all the words right here, carnivore, an animal that eats meat. So we know that our T-Rexes here were animals that ate meat. All right, here we go. Tyrannosaurus rex teeth were cone-shaped. The teeth could grab and bite prey. Strong jaws crushed bones. And that's how it ate because remember its front legs, the short ones did not reach his mouth. What big feet they had. Tyrannosaurus rex lived about 70 million years ago. It lived in Western North America. Scientists think Tyrannosaurus rex moved to different places. Scientists found Tyrannosaurus rex bones in Montana. A Tyrannosaurus rex footprint was found in New Mexico. It was 34 inches long. It's very long. Working together, Tyrannosaurus rex was a smart species. It had a large brain. Scientists think the species hunted in packs. The fast young dinosaurs chased prey. The slower adults killed it when they caught up. And that is the end of our book. So these are, this is the glossary with the words in bold. We have prey, scientists is a person who studies the workings of the world, and species is a group of animals who share numerous traits. And then when you're in Pebble Go and you want to get out of the book, you just click on the X. And then if you click out of the read more, it takes you back to this. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this week's and I can't wait to see you again next week. Have a good rest of your day.